Hey guys. I just finished filming my video and I didn't mess up. I didn't make any mistakes. I remembered everything I wanted to say. Everything was perfect. And I looked at the computer at the end of the video. I never hit the record button. Life of a YouTuber, I'm telling you, it is not for the faint of heart. So I have to start all over again, but the problem is the product that I'm reviewing is already on and done. So uh, what I'll do is I'll tell you all about it and then I'll shut the camera off and come back and insert some footage at the end of applying it. I'll apply it. I'll take it off and apply it all over again. <laughs> so what am I talking about? I'm talking about Tattoo Junkie Lip Paint and Effects. I have really been enjoying these lip kits lately where you put on a lip paint and then you put like a pigment on top of it. I'm not sure why. I've just really been enjoying these lately. You might have seen my Maybelline Python lip kits videos. I talked about them for almost a whole week. <laughs> really love them. Uh, but Tattoo Junkie did this long before Maybelline did it they were definitely one of the first people to come out with something like this so I thought it would make sense to get one of these and the one that I'm wearing is in the shade Cheeky these retail for $6.99 on the Tattoo Junkie website they have tons of colors and finishes and so much to pick from so if you want to see what they all look like um, check out their website. It's TattooJunkie.com. Junkie is spelled J-U-N-K-E-E. -E. And um, yeah, then you'll be able to see pictures. And they, I love the way they take their pictures because what they do is they do like a split effect where they put just the lip paint on one side. Then on the other side of the model's lips, they have the lip paint with the effects top coat over it so that you can see what both look like because you can wear the lip paint all by itself or you can wear it with the effects pigment over it. So that gives you an idea of what you're getting. If you are able to find these in stores, you can see right on the packaging too what it looks like with just the lip paint or with the effects over it. I love the packaging on these because nobody can mess with it. This comes totally encased in plastic. The only way you're getting in this is to cut the top with a pair of scissors or a knife and rip it op open. So I really like that. These are not tested on animals. They are cruelty free. So that's nice. And I feel as if $6.99 is a very reasonable price to pay for these. But I was able to find them on clearance at Michael's Craft Store for $2.97 each. If you're looking for these, if you're interested, they're in the section where you can buy face paints for children's birthday parties and things like that. So they're, they're on clearance, so they're not going to be carrying them anymore. They're on the Michael's website and they're in stores. but if you've always wanted to try one of these, this might be a good time to do so because $2.97, you might as well say $3 plus tax. It's a really good deal. And these are very good quality. The lip paints are very easy to apply. They smell like baked goods. They have a dofu applicator, so they just glide right on. Uh, the color selection is unbelievable. I don't care what color you like. They most likely have it. As far as what they actually have in Michaels, though, it's either five or six shades. So that's still enough to um, give you a decent selection because they go from super light, like this one, right up to dark or bright. Whatever you like, they pretty much have it for color selection. And then the pigment comes in this small little jar. It has a screw top cover on top here. Then it has a stopper. Be careful with the stopper because 
um, you could have uh, an accident. Hold on to the base really tight when you pull that stopper out or it could all go flying and make a big mess. So just be careful with that. I like to use a lip primer under it. So I start with my NYX lip primer and I just feel like that makes all the products go on even better. But if you're not into lip primers, um, I would say maybe use some type of lip treatment product like a lip balm and then wait a few minutes, let that set, and then go in with your lip paint. But I am really happy with this and am most likely going to go back and get more shades of it. But I wanted to get this video up as soon as possible because... At that price and considering how well known the company is, um, I don't think these are going to last long and when they're gone, they're gone at Michael's. I'm sure that most of you have a Michael's where you live. I have one in every single town in my area, so I would imagine it's like that probably across the country. But if you don't have a Michael's or you don't want to buy it um, in person for some reason, you can always check these out. On the Tattoo Junkie website and I still feel as if you're getting a good deal for what they are because the quality is really good. Okay so as you can see the color that I happened to choose was a light rose gold. That's how I would describe the cheeky once it's got the pigment on it and when the light hits it um, it just gives you a really nice effect. I really love it. So yeah, let me go take this off and hopefully this time I will remember to hit the record button when I'm doing the application. Be right back. Okay, so I'm going to start with my NYX lip balm. Just put some of that on. I always use, not lip balm, did I say lip balm? Lip primer, my NYX lip primer. And I just feel like that makes all lip products go on better. Um, I realized that I forgot to mention about the staying power of these. They last really well. Um, if you drink something, it's not going to remove the... Um, product and if you eat something some of it will come off but it will still look pretty good but it you know obviously depends on what you eat how much you eat generally there is no lip product that will stay on through a meal but um, they hold up really well is what I'm trying to say okay so let's go in with the lip paint have to say I'm not that crazy about the way this particular color looks on its own on me but that's my coloring and I just was in the mood for this type of shade the day that I picked this out, but I think there, there will be some other shades in the line that will look better. Yeah, this is a light peachy nude. Okay, so so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to let that dry, and it doesn't take that long. And once it's dry, then you apply the effects topper, which is essentially a pigment, on top. Now, you can apply it before the lipstick is dry and I feel like it might make it adhere better but the downside to doing it that way is you could mess up the lipstick um, so I don't know I feel as if you don't have to do it that way I feel like this lasts plenty well 
if you do it the way it's intended to be done. Now this is, uh, it dries quickly. There's all different finishes. This one I feel like is a velvet finish. That would be my guess. It doesn't actually say on the packaging or the product or anything, but that would be my guess. Is it dry? Yeah, it's dry now. See, so it, it dries really quickly, but like I said before, be careful when you pull this stopper out because that, um, yeah, especially the first time that you pull that out. After that, it's going to loosen up a little bit and it'll be easier. So I just go in with my finger. You can use a brush if you want to, but I don't know. I feel like I'm going to get have an easier time of it if I use my finger. I don't feel like a brush is going to adhere to the pigment as well as my finger will. So I'm just very carefully patting it on. And it's not uncomfortable. You would think that it would be because you're putting on a somewhat drying lipstick. Um, I don't feel like the formula is uncomfortable of the lip paint on your lips. Then you're putting a powder on top of it because the first ingredient listed is mica, which is a powder. But I don't know. I personally don't find it uncomfortable or drying to my lips. See how when I move my lips and the way the light catches it, you get like um, an effect, which is why they call it lip paint and effect. I'm just putting this back together so I don't have an accident with it. So I really like this. I think I'm going to go back and get more at Michael's. $2.97? They used to sell these at Walmart, select Walmarts, and they used to sell them at select Targets. And from what I can tell, they don't anymore, which is sad. I also think they may have carried these at Hot Topic at one time, but it looks like they're not going to be sold in stores anymore, which is sad because this, I feel like, is a really quality product and um, so that's why I wanted to tell you guys about it so yeah um, that's it for today you guys uh, the uh, did I forget anything the removal I, I should have mentioned that this it's a little difficult to take off because it is long wearing and lasting so I just grabbed a makeup wipe and did it that way but when I finished removing it, uh, I noticed that there was just a tiny little bit of residue residue left, and I didn't want to like injure my lips in any way it's because I knew I was going to be applying it again. So um, yeah, long lasting and not going to go anywhere. But you know, you can just take it off with a makeup removal, or you can use one of those lip remover products that they have now. There's tons of them on the market. Uh, it used to be just one company made them. Or you can just take some makeup remover with a tissue or a paper towel or something and do it that way. Or if you don't mind messing up your face cloths, you could even use one of those. But um, there's a lot of different ways you can remove it. But it it's a little bit of a struggle to remove it. But that's it for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.